Okay, so now we are looking into the another chapter, not for drink, not for breathe. So what is this not for drink, not for breathe? So in the olden days, ancient times, when there was no industrialization, when uh, there was no fast growing rapid civilization or urbanization. So there was a natural setup, natural environment, good amount of forest, natural ecosystems. The air that is surrounding the planet, it is very good and fresh that can be easily uh, breathed by the organisms. They can take the fresh breath without any doubts, without any effects. So the organisms, animals that are living in the natural ecosystem in such a fresh environment, they can drink the water that is available in the nature without any doubt, any dilemmas. But nowadays, there is a huge change in the shape, in the phase of earth. Industrialization, setting up more industries, urbanization, lot of uh, development of cities, city culture, concrete jungles, so many buildings, no trees are found. And um, on the name of civilization and modern life, so many consumer products are made which are badly affecting the environment. Making the air and water, the natural air and natural water are polluted. So we are going to talk about such pollution in this lesson. See, first look at that air pollution. Air is a very important gas medium present in the atmosphere from which we get our oxygen needs. We breathe oxygen from the air. Also contains so many other gases which help for the plants for photosynthesis and other process. It contains nitrogen which will be used uh, fixed in the soil for plant growth. So soil is a mixture of various gases which are very very important. This soil, this air is being polluted extensively by the human activities. So one of such major activity is that vehicles. The pollution of air takes place by industries at the same time by motor vehicles. So transportation is a very important need of a modern man. Goods are to be transported, people are to be transported from one place to another place. So the vehicles which are transporting the people and transporting the goods, all these vehicles, they are called as automobiles. So these automobiles, they run by using fuel. So what kind of fuel they use? Petrochemicals, petrol, kerosene, diesel, these kind of fuels are used to run the vehicles. So these fuels, when they are burned in the engine of the vehicle, they release toxic gases like carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide into the atmosphere which are very dangerous and which are, which are polluting the environment. The composition of the air is disturbed. The natural percentage of gases is altered and poisonous gases enter into the air which affect our health on uh, not only our health, even the plants and animal lives are affected by this air pollution. So to control the pollution that comes from the vehicles, so the government has taken initiation. You might have observed when uh, you are going out with your father on bike, sometimes traffic constables may stop the bike and ask for the required documents. So what are the documents they ask for? They ask for a driving license and they may ask for the registration copy RC registration copy of the vehicle and they ask for insurance. So even though if all these documents are there, they ask for one more important document that is pollution certificate. You might have observed that your father being asked for pollution certificate for his vehicle. What is this pollution certificate? So every automobile vehicle, whether it is a bike or a car, it emits pollutant gases like carbon monoxide and dioxide into the atmosphere. So there is a permissibility, there is a limitation allowance to the vehicle so that it should allow only the limited amounts. It should not emit more amounts of these pollutants into the atmosphere. So that was an act made by the government. So motor 
Vehicle Act in 1988 and according to the Central Motor Vehicle Rules of 1989. So the system is introduced that every vehicle should be checked for the emitation. What is that uh, emittance of that pollutants? The permissible, uh, permitted, uh, permitted limits of pollutants are released or not. If any vehicle is emitting more than the permitted amount of pollutants, it will be identified by the pollution machinery. So the, uh, every vehicle, it has to get checked for the pollution. How much amount of pollution, how much amount of the uh, toxins and particles are released into the atmosphere by the vehicle will be tested by a pollution testing center. So every vehicle must get the certification that the vehicle, the amount of pollutants released by the vehicle are under control, are under the limit prescribed by the government. So that is this act. Every vehicle which comes onto the road, which runs on the road after a year, after completing one year of its life, the first one year, the vehicle should be checked for pollution for every six months. For every six months, new pollution certificate has to be taken. Pollution checkup. So who will do that pollution checkup? There will be pollution checking centers, pollution testing centers. Sometimes on the roads, you might be watching mobile pollution testing centers mobile pollution testing centers they will test the emissions of your vehicle and they give a certificate so that certificate is very important according to the motor vehicle act so why the government made such an act why the government is particular in controlling in uh, asking the people for pollution certificates that is to make the people aware that they are contributing for the air pollution because of their vehicles if the vehicle is not properly maintained if the vehicle is not properly serviced, if the engine of the vehicle is not in proper condition, it will emit more pollutants than the prescribed limits. So this test will find out whether the vehicle is in condition or not, whether the vehicle is leaving only the permitted amounts are of pollutants or excess pollutants are released. So that is done by this testing. So in this way, government made certain initiatives in controlling the air pollution. So it is a very small thing, a small part. There is a large part which has to be done by the people and uh, contro in controlling the air pollution. Vehicles are not only the cause for air pollution. There are so many factors which are contributing for the air pollution. Let us see.